Yeah, go ahead. Just bring her out. Yeah, go ahead. Just bring her out. Just bring her out. Thank you. All right, here we are. Back again. Y'all hear her running back. Back up. Uh, I'm going yeah, whatever. Keep on from the night. Okay, so here we are back again. Got my Macklemore shirt, like uh, the Rebel Macklemore. Got my garlic in there. Reserved most of it right here. Uh, reserved most of it with oil, roasted and fresh. Hey, you like that, baby? And then uh, some cheese. Just cracking this cheese open real quick. I'm gonna do one quick batch. Uh, it's gonna be a quick uh, test batch. We're gonna see how strong all the ingredients are. Really. Uh, I'm gonna see how strong all the ingredients are, and uh, you know, it's always good to do a test. I'll <laughs> test batch first. She loves garlic. It's pretty delicious. I'm going. What's that baby from that? I'm almost done. So just gonna take a couple minutes, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So we got cheese here. Cheese is open. Trash out of the way. Meow. Got that. We're gonna do a, a little injection of roasted garlic right off the bat. I, don't, I want more of a roasted flavor than a fresh flavor, and. Uh, See, I'm gonna drop in some pine nuts. Baby, wanna feed Dada's video? Like that? Not too yeah. much. It's still on everywhere. Uh, Dada, see there you go, baby. See, she's a new video. Yeah, I know she is. So are you. Alright, okay. It's a video about cooking. It's one about babies. I am a robot. No, 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 a video about robots and, and babies, okay? <laughs> Alright, so then we're gonna take some basil. Stuff some basil in here. This. Like I said, I got a mixture of lemon basil and uh, a more savory basil. The lemon's a lot sweeter. We drop it down in there and see what it tastes like. And then a nice little batch, a little starter batch. Just uh, get our flavors in order. A little bit of uh, salt, kosher salt I like to use. I think it's more delicious, I don't know. Uh, sea salt's good too. There's a baby right there. Look, baby, you in the video. And we drop, I drop some olive oil on that right off the bat. It's going to take quite a bit of olive oil. I mean, you want it thick, but all these leaves will break down to a small amount. Come here, baby. What are you crying about? You selling orange juice? Here, I got your keys. Come here, your keys. Okay, make the right, coffee. Right, and then a uh, sprinkle of pepper. Put some pepper in this side of the gun. And then, uh, I guess it's not a very little sprinkle of pepper, but come here, baby. You can help. Getting your seasoning right at the very end. You can always put in more garlic, more everything later. You can't take it out. You can always put more in. So that's what you have to remember when you're seasoning. Uh, careful what you get into. Baby. Baby, what do you got? Don't, yeah. don't shout at her. Just go. Go check out. Make sure she's not. Yes. The. Baby, you want a pine nut? Where are pine nut? Baby. Come here, baby. All right. Little on. Little Rooney. See, I have got a shortage of time. She's got a uh, hand wipes. Those are not good for a baby. Hold on. You want some blending action? Come here. Look at this blending action, baby. Come on. Look at that. Impressive, right? Can you give it the old blender roomy until it's uh, smooth? I'll shut my ears, does it? It's not going to be too loud. It's not going to get any louder than that, don't worry. So you give the old blender roomy. And you can just add a little bit more olive oil until it turns to the consistency you want. Dad, okay. So and taste and salt and pepper. See? Come on, let me finish. I'm done. I'm already at four minutes. I don't want to go in a five minute video. I like to process it till it's pretty smooth. Come here, baby. That is probably going to sound awful in the video. Oh, well. Uh, look at that. A little stir around you. Make sure you don't be afraid to taste. Go follow her. Make sure she can't get into the cabinets, okay? Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Smell will tell you a lot. You don't want too much of anything. Slowly add it to the taste that you like. And then always make sure you listen to the feedback of uh, whoever's eating it. So, and then tell, make sure you tell whoever's eating it to not give you any good feedback. Anything good, just assume it's good. And and make sure you can pry out of them anything that's real bad about it. And everybody has different tastes, but 
tell them you only want bad feedback. That's how you get better at something. Okay, my computer. No, it's not too bad. It's not going to die. Okay, there's six minutes longest video yet. Uh, I'm going to taste this. I'm going to reseason. Uh, I'm sure you, you don't need the aftermath, but here's what it looks like. You want to get a good look at that? That's close to the. Come here, baby! That's close to the consistency you want right there. Uh, after that, well, yeah. I'm going to get a little bit smoother, but see that consistency? It's a nice thick one right there. But that's with cheese and pine nuts and everything. Like I said, if you're going to save it for later, make sure you don't put in uh, the cheese. Everything else will freeze. It's a nice thick one. There's going to be some more salt, garlic, and everything added to this. Like I said, always the taste. That's the most important thing. The, the taste of it. You can do the presentation later. So, that's uh, Pesto 101. <laughs> I'm going to complete. <laughs> I'm going to make about six batches. This is just my test batch. We're going to get the old tester Rooney and let, uh, let people taste it. And um, then we'll get some a little bit of feedback and know what we need to do different for the batch that's going to last us all the winter. Thank you for watching.